Welcome back to Ionic Apps for WooCommerce. In this video, we'll learn how to create lists with Ionic. So what I'm going to do inside this Ion content, I'll create a new list. There are two ways of creating list. We can use a div with a class of list. Okay. And inside of this div for each item inside our list, I'll create another div with a class of item. So this will be our item one and I'll close this div. I'll save it. And you can see that I now have a list. I'll just replicate this and this way I can have number of objects in my list. I'll save it. And now I have a beautiful list in my iron content. So this is one way of creating list. Another way is that instead of using div with a class of list, all you have to do is use the tag ion list. Also, instead of using the div with a class of item, all you have to do now is use the tag ion item. Okay, and that's what you'll close. So just close ion item. And now what you can do is replace all these tags that you have just created with ion item. Save it and you will get the same output as you were getting before. Using ion list tags and ion item tags have several advantages over the traditional div and class combination. We will have a look at what those advantages are in a later lecture. But for now, let's try and modify this list and change the style of the list. So Ionic offers a number of styles that you can create your lists with. Let me just show you how you can have a thumbnail icon in your list. So all you have to do is add a class called item thumbnail left and you will have a thumbnail icon on the left. Okay. You have not specified any icon as of now. So instead of getting the thumbnail icon, we are getting blank space for it. So let's just add an image tag here. So I'll add an image with the source of laurempixel.com slash 64 by 64. This will give me a random 64 by 64 image that I can use. So I'll save it. And now you'll see that I have got an image instead of the white space. We can also format the text that we have right here to make it look a little bit nicer. So what I'll do, I'll add an h2 tag around the item and I'll also add a p tag and a p tag will contain the description of the item. So I'll just add a text called description goes here and I'll save it. And you can see that I now have a pretty nice looking list item. Okay, what I can do is now replicate this one to see how our list actually looks like. So I'll just paste this twice. And now we'll end up having three list items with thumbnails, titles and descriptions. Another thing that you can use to play with is that you can change the class from item thumbnail left to item thumbnail right and save it. In the second list element, you will have the thumbnail on the right. Pretty cool, right? Another type of list that Ionic supports is the card list. So it will allow you to display your list as cards. Cards are the latest UI component that Android has and most of the applications out there are using cards. So I'm just going to remove this list from here and instead I'm going to paste in some code here. And here you can see that I have a div with a class of list and card. So I have applied two classes here, a list and a card class. The card class will ensure that all the items in the list are rendered as cards. Okay. And inside this list, I have three items. Item number one, item number two, and item number three. Each of these items shows you the strength of Ionic. So in the first item, we are just using an avatar image. And the URL of the image is something I need to change. So I'll just type in HTTP laurempixel.com slash 32 by 32. Okay. It will have the title pretty hit machine and the text will be nine inch nails. You can just change this text to whatever you want. It's just something that I have copied from the Ionic documentation. Also in the second list, I have the item image class. Again, I'll just change the URL. Okay. And in the last one, instead of the div tag, I have the anchor tag with the class of item icon left assertive. So item icon left class will ensure that I have an icon and the icon will be a music note icon and the text will be start listening. So let's save this and have a look at how it looks like. 
Okay, so the image is not pretty good because it's a small image. What I'm seeing is that I have an avatar right here. I have the text by the avatar, the H2 title and the paragraph text below it. Then I have the image and below the image inside the same card I have start listening text with the music note icon. This is a link which is clickable. So I can click on this and you can see that nothing is actually happening. Also notice that since the size of the list has increased and it has reached beyond the visible viewport size, now ion content has added a scroll bar. So I can scroll the content. You might not see this scroll bar in your iOS simulator, but in your Android simulator you can see this. So this is how you create different types of lists in Ionic. This is it about this video. In the next video we will learn how to create beautiful forms and define various HTML input elements in our forms using Ionic.